Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I wanted to dive in, excuse the zipping noise, um, that was to do with my boot by the way. I wanted to do a halo cut crease using the Jaclyn Hill X Morphe Armed and Gorgeous eyeshadow palette and sort of match the top that I'm wearing if that was possible. Then I threw on some earrings and I really, really like these. I've had them for a while but I haven't actually worn them. So sometimes when I see things around my house and I haven't worn them for a while, I'll put them on. But if they're not like directly in front of me, I might forget to put them on. That's just how my mindset works. Anyway, if you want to see how to create this halo cut crease eye look, hopefully I've got some tips and tricks that can help you when you decide to do your own. Then feel free to stay here and let's begin. the next eye. What we have is the Morphe X Jaclyn Hill eyeshadow palette. This is the Armed and Gorgeous. I love the shades in this palette. I'm trying to use what I have already and play with that. Anyway, we're going to start with the shade Agent, top corner here. Hopefully you can see that showing up. And I'm just going to pack that into the crease. This, excuse me, is Smooth Criminal, and that is this matte brown shade here at the bottom and I'm just going to place it a little lower in the crease to deepen it and give more dimension to the eye look. I thought it would be good for this eye look so I use my bubble pop my Bubble Pop eyeshadow palette, this one here, which has very bright colors, but also very dark shades as well that I wanted. So using a flat brush this time, I'm just gonna pack the Plum Crazy shadow um, on the outer area of the eye, both sides. Again, it might take a little bit of practice but just believe, be patient, and it will work out. Okay, and then packing on the shade Root Beer, which is the black shade in the bottom corner there. And I'm just going to place that over the top of the Plum Crazy but remembering to not cover it up fully because I want that plum shade to peek out. The black obviously gives it more of a shadowy look. All right, I might go back in with my plum shade. And bring it closer into the middle of the eye but still leaving a gap because I want to put shimmers there that is the basis of a halo cut crease using my brush that I used for um actually those can be washed so I'll just leave them there for the <clears throat> cut crease I need to just go back in to my conceal and define Revolution concealer and then cut my crease with the flat brush that I used. So I think it's always a really good idea if you're doing one eye at a time, keep your brushes near in case you need those shades, uh, sorry, in case you need those brushes again to help you. How's that? I find that by using a finger, it does help it 
stand out a little bit more than say if you were using a brush but when you're practicing and you're not so confident I think brushes can can help with that confidence I don't know it's up to you whatever you feel is necessary at the time getting my black liner now it's my liquid liner I'm just going to add just a border on the top so you've seen what I do here adding a liquid liner over the top of my top lashes foundation because I love this foundation it's just perfect for me the shade the texture of it is just so good and it's interesting because um, Morphe I believe tends to suit a lot of people with normal to oily skin and I don't have normal to oily but I just love the texture of this foundation and my skin as you know is normal to dry I don't feel like this dries my skin out at all doesn't budge I'm not into the whole touching it up during the day type of thing it's not that I don't have time that's not my um, factor it's more because I just want to have my makeup set already so that no matter where I go during the day night even um, I don't want to have to carry stuff with me have you ever known of people to carry extra powders with them for makeup um, sort of fix-ups? That's not the right word. Can't think of it right now, sorry. I just don't like the idea of having to carry around a powder to touch up my makeup during the day. I feel like that tends to be more of a thing for people who have oilier skin because um, if they have products that you know their oil comes out through then they need something like a um a pad or something to absorb that oil so that you know it doesn't show up on their face and looks messy This is the final look after taking off my powder and doing my hair up I obviously feel a little bit more complete um, I'm finding that my hair is very big today could have been the shampoo that I've been using I mentioned to you guys maybe 20 videos ago <laughs> that um, I was using a cake shampoo this is something that I got from discount beauty boutique and I love the shampoo I used a fair bit last night and so I think that's probably why my hair is wow really um, volumized obviously I love 
having volumized hair it just looks really funny if I haven't been able to, uh, to you, you know make it look the way I want to so I'm having to put a couple of clips in it just to keep it a bit more tamed but uh, it's fine <laughs> I don't know why but I just had this idea that because I was talking to you about my hair being tamed I was thinking lions and my star sign is Leo I started doing what I think was going to be a series of different star signs a while back uh, for makeup looks but I believe that I must have lost interest or just didn't keep up with that so if you want to um, have a selection of eye looks or makeup looks for star signs let me know because mine is Leo and I love to do things that are golden and I guess powerful because of that type of star sign but maybe you guys are a different type of star sign and I can figure out what sort of eye look or something to do for you I'm sure there's one for every single one there's 13 star signs out there anyway I love you guys so much I wish you the best for a great week oh I've got an itchy foot um, <laughs> oh not my favorite thing getting an itchy foot I don't know how that started but I want to send you guys a lots of love blessings and hopefully this was a halo eye look that you enjoyed you can see how I did my eyes today and um, yeah I seem to be getting better at my cut creases I'll see you soon